Hi guys, Knife Detector here, and this is going to be another quickie video. You guys know my quickie videos. My quickie videos usually don't last longer than five minutes, if I can help it. And I have to do a video on this knife because I can't bear it any longer. I've got to carry it. Guys, you guys know Stuart Harvey. He's one of the awesome contributors to a lot of knife channels. He contributes his knowledge. He contributes uh, all of his uh, years of experience with knives. And uh, he's a researcher like there is no other. You know, if there's a question you got on a knife, he will go out of his way to research it for a lot of us people that put out videos out there. And uh, he's just a wonderful, wonderful viewer and subscriber uh, in the knife community. And I wanted you guys to know that he gave me this knife. This was a contribution from Stuart to my channel. And I am greatly, greatly uh, appreciative of this gift because I really like this knife. I really like this knife for a lot of reasons and what we're gonna do in my quickie videos we're gonna weigh it, we're gonna measure it, and we're gonna take a close look at it guys. Alright, let's take a close look at it before we weigh it and measure it. Check this out. Look at this beautiful traditional lockback knife. Check out that shoil. Now Stuart sometimes does some handy work on the choil. I think he might have done a little bit of handy work on this one because this one is very rounded and the ones that I've seen other Kershaw black gulches with have usually like a triangular shape but this one has a nice round shape to it. And check out that beautiful blade right there. It says Kershaw and yes this is a Kershaw black gulch and I believe it says black gulch right there. Yes there it is. And the number designation for this knife is 3120 if you are so interested in that. Now this is a gorgeous knife and I couldn't figure out why exactly I really like this knife. And then it hit me. This knife has so many similarities to the Buck 112. You guys know the Buck 112. It's like a smaller version of the Buck 110. I really like the Buck 112 and this is a bit more of a modern version uh, of the Buck 112. Now this knife here has a few improvements on the Buck 112. Check this out. There is some very aggressive, very textured jimping right here that really lets you get a nice hold on this knife. It's also a little bit thinner than the Buck 112 because the Buck 112 is, uh, is quite a bit wider than this. Now, it also has a hole in case you want to put a lanyard in there as well. It's got this textured plastic right here, which helps you to get a really nice grip. And this thing just falls in your hand just like it should. I mean, this is a fantastic knife, whether you're going to take it to the campsite, where you're going to be skinning a small game. You know, um, this is beautiful, beautiful uh, to have in your pocket or even just to have as everyday carry. Now, a couple of things about this knife. Uh, you can pretty much use it interchangeably with the sheath on a buck 112. So I am currently perusing eBay to find a Kershaw sheath. But as I mentioned, it fits the sheath of a Buck 112 just perfectly. This is a very old Buck 112 sheath. Uh, I believe I replaced the button on it. Uh, this is uh, a Buck 112 two dot. So let's just put it up just for kicks. And uh, just take a look at the 112. Now I love the Buck 112. I mean, that's what I carried in my 20s and before that. I really like the Buck 112. Let's look at the shape of the blade. Now this is an older Buck 112. This is a two dot. So this is not gonna have the nail nick. But just check out the, the length of the blade and the shape of the blade. Notice how the blade uh, on the Kershaw is just a little bit more narrow and not as wide as the one in the Buck 112. This takes away from the weight of the Kershaw and makes it lighter to carry, okay? Let's turn it up like this. Notice how thin it is compared to the Buck 112. There's quite a bit of difference in the width or thickness of the knife, you know. That again makes it lighter and easier to carry, right? Um, now let's see if this will fit in the sheath for a Buck 112. Boom, shakalaka, like it was made for it, right? Uh, no problem, fits perfectly with room to spare. Okay, so yes, it's kind of uh, similar to a Buck 112. So the length of this is about four inches closed okay it's very very similar or the same as a buck 112 four inches or four and an eighth inches it's like super close okay so uh very very similar to that yep okay it looks like the buck 112 is a wee bit longer yeah it's a wee bit longer maybe the buck 112 is about four and a quarter and this is a little bit shorter let's weigh them what do you say what do you say now, I like that Kershaw because that's something I can put in my pocket and take to work. And I, it's heavy enough that I know that something is there, but not light enough that I'm going to worry that I'm actually going to lose it. All right, it's evened out. First, let's weigh the Kershaw. 
5.0 ounces exactly guys 5.0 ounces exactly as you know a buck 110 weighs 7.2 ounces new so that's a very nice weight five ounces is a really nice weight for a traditional knife let's try this older buck 112 boom 6.4 so it's almost uh it's about an, an ounce and a half heavier the buck 112 than the kershaw but uh this beautiful kershaw black gulch thanks thank you so much Stuart. This is an awesome knife. I'm really going to enjoy this bad boy. Um, this is out there. This is something that, that you, you can probably find for sale today on eBay. This is a 3120. Uh, beautiful knife. Very, very sharp. And I will be carrying this mañana. All right, guys. Take care. See you later, my friends. And uh, God bless you.